Okay. Okay. Great. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Jason. Uh, um, thank you, everyone, for skipping some hanami and uh, coming here to pitch some, uh, listen to some startup pitches. Um, I'll just give you back some background story on myself. Um, I came to Tokyo not knowing the language, not having only visited this place once, uh, and I fell in love with the city, so I decided to get a job here at a large Japanese corporation. Uh, bad news, right? Um, you know, I, I went in there thinking as an American I could uh, change the world, but I realized that you know there was a lot going on there, and you know people always said I was very KY um, at the Japanese organization, and it was a very sad time in my life. I was there for two and a half years, um, and I learned a lot about the Japanese culture. Um, moving forward, I realized, hey, maybe this Japanese corporate thing isn't everything, and so I started approaching uh, the makers in Japan. So, for instance, Yasuda Sad, he he built one of the most famous sushi restaurants in New York, and then he came back to uh, Japan to change sushi. Uh, I've been friends with him for two and a half years, and he's been teaching me concepts of like shokuni, which uh, is craftsmen in Japan. I think that's like the base of the nation. Uh, secondly, last night my friend introduced me to Nobu, who brought sushi all over the world, over 50 restaurants, and you know he he's a huge inspiration to me because in Los Angeles that restaurant brought sushi to us, and that was one of my favorite places. Um, he, you know, he taught me, like, you must have heart. It's not about KPIs. This is what business is about. And he told me to keep that in mind as I build. Um, and so coming back to sushi, um, you know, I think what we're trying to build is the rice to sushi, right? I think the rice is the most important component. Um, and the problem we're trying to solve is, I think we all know that email is a problem in organizations, uh, which we see overseas with Slack, uh, the, the, the messenger app. Um, um, industry is booming because we know email is a problem. Um, if you look, you know, back in the 90s and 2000s, we had, you know, the full stack software. But what's happening now is that workers are starting to use consumer products. But that becomes problematic for businesses because you have issues of security. You know, it's not, it's not um, approved by the company. Um, like, for instance, you know, a lot of Japanese users are using uh, Lime. Um, and if you see here, 43.3% of Japanese workers are using Lime professionally. Uh, that's a risk for a business, right? Because you don't have the security there. Uh, Lime has an invisible mode, so you know, if you're working in, in a Japanese office, you know, they don't see it, right? Um, and so what we see this as is there are functions that employers need, right? And so we're trying to provide that because there's so much security that's needed for businesses, especially in Japan. Um, you know, the nation is slightly risk averse in businesses and we want to make sure to um, fulfill that need. Um, and I think, you know, if you look at our business model, we, we are quite young, we received our uh, seed funding in December. And so we're trying to figure out what our product to market fit is in all the countries in Asia. Uh, we currently have an office in Taipei, Seoul, and Tokyo. Um, but I really believe our differentiation strategy is in this platform, right? I think Tokyo has different needs from Seoul. Seoul has different needs from Taipei. Shanghai has different needs. Like ideas that I'm bringing up are how are we going to deal with disaster relief? How are we going to deal with stickers? You know, how can we bring this community together that is specifically oriented to Tokyo and Japan? And I think for each nation we localize in, uh, we should be the rice and then the maguro or whatever it is in different zones is, is, is what the culture is in different, different uh, countries. Um, so as we know in the US, you know, everything is going consumer to enterprise as we've seen with LinkedIn and Box. Um, but there's a huge opportunity for us here in Asia because no one has taken over that space yet. Um, and as for a team, uh, there's people from everywhere. Um, Dan Shin, he was on the uh, uh, initial team for Invite Media. Uh, he built, in, he localized e-commerce in Seoul. Uh, he's American, but um, you know, he did that. I have a lot of functional advisors all everywhere. Um, the way I use it for my community in Tokyo, right now we're beta testing, is just all the friends, 36 people. Um, you know, down to Dutch people, to French people, to um, you know, my friend who's trying to, trying to start a wine business, down to my friend who's making bespoke perfume. Uh, we just have this community happening. Um, and I guess, you know, I'm running out of time, so thank you very much. We want to be the rice for sushi for a platform for communications. Um, audience, we're looking for amazing people who want to craft a new product. Anyone want a job? Find me on LinkedIn or Instagram. Uh, judges, please send us as delegates of Asia to show Europe how amazing we are. Please. Um, we'll class, we'll class. And questions um, for, yes. Okay, I'll ask the questions really fast. Yeah. Uh, hi. Hi. 
great pitch. Um, but I think a bit stupid. Um, sorry. Nothing I, I didn't stupid. get it. What is it? Uh, it's an enterprise communications platform. Yeah. Right. What is it? Email. Uh, well, yeah. Let me show you. Um, so basically, hold on. I'm going to answer your question with the video. You know, I can show you on my phone afterward. Um, this is sped up a little bit, um, but you know, we have it for iOS. Um, Android and desktop. It's coming out as an application because businesses do need that. Um, oh no, it's it's like Slack. Have you guys used Slack? So it's like Slack. Yeah, it's like Slack, but you know, like our differentiation differentiation strategy is that Slack is going to take two or three years to really localize in Asia, um, and like look at the needs of Japanese businesses, look at the needs of Chinese businesses. You know, we're here on the ground. We have we have people from all around the world in Asia who know the markets. And so, you know, especially in Japan, for instance, you know, sales is so important. Omotenashi is so important. You know, Slack in the U.S. doesn't have the resources to provide omotenashi for Japanese consumers, right? But, you know, we are here in Japan and we're building a staff here in Japan to fill that need for Japanese consumers because at the end of the day, Japanese businesses may be, you know, some of the most difficult or have the highest standards for, for usage of, um, you know, certain applications. Hey, what's up? Uh, would you be able to say, for example, Japan, uh, would you be able to integrate with uh, enterprise systems that exist, for example, in large companies in Japan that might not have a great UI and that might be boring yeah. and terrible? So basically, bringing, I think, Jamji to it, would it be possible to basically transfer them to a new yeah. era of communication? So that's actually something we're working on. Um, we're being very careful about what we do integrate because currently Slack has maybe hundreds of integrations because US consumers are using so many apps, right? But in Japan, in Korea, China, not as many apps, but right now what's coming in the next week is Google Drive integration of Calendar. Um, you know, people do use Google here. Um, we're bringing GitHub because that's something that all the startups do need. But, you know, we want to be very specific and targeted to find out exactly what the Japanese consumer needs. So currently we are beta testing in Taiwan, Japan, and in, um, in Korea. Um, and we want to find out what do our consumers need? What vertical are we gonna go after? You know, that could be many things, right? And so for, ex for instance, law firms would need something completely different. But that platform creates the rice, right? So we can create maybe a secure channel for lawyers. Or let's say it's laborers, plant workers. Okay, so I was gonna one last question, it's really fast. Uh, some of my Japanese friends already use Slack yes, for definitely. business. So yeah. what's the difference? For uh, the well, business? right now Slack, uh, their Asia expansion strategy is at maybe year two or three. Um, for Asia, they only have for entire Asia they have one person, right, doing customer support. Um, I think the Japanese consumer and business needs a lot more. Uh, you know, like I see it as we can go into your office, we can set up your groups, we can be there on the ground. But you know, Slack is going after the U.S. market, which is so huge that you know they can't think about Japan until year two or three, right? But we're here to build the product for Japan, and we're here to provide the service that Japan requires. Yes. Okay, so thank you very much, Jason. Thank you very much. Great class once again. Thank you.